three, two, one. We have the bus. Separation. Boost box shot up. Shit, I'm getting this one. We're here in the cheering. The first ever successful hot stage for SpaceX's Starship. Super Heavy Booster, and as you can see, the Super Heavy Booster has just experienced a rapid, unscheduled disassembly. However, our ship is still underway. So we are actually going in a suborbital trajectory today, but that trajectory will get us to the energy levels that we need at re-entry, where we can really stress that heat shield and get valuable data on re-entry. Uh, there's a great view of our Star Command Center. That's our control center at Starbase, Texas. The crowd here, Mission Control Center behind us in Hawthorne. Everyone is super exciting. What a successful day this has been so far. We are going to head into the coast phase. We have lost the data from the second stage. We had heard a call out that we were internal guidance, which means we were getting near the end of the approximately six minute burn of Starship. But we haven't uh, gotten any more data since then, so we think we may have lost the second stage, so we would not be into coast phase. We wouldn't be able to come back in an hour or so uh, and possibly get ready for re-entry. However, what we do know right now is we had an on-time launch at seven o'clock. Uh, we got through the boats. First stage looked beautiful with 33 Raptor engines firing. We got the hot staging, you know, the thing that we really wanted to see and impressed we saw the separation, we saw the flip maneuver, we saw the light up of the six Raptor engines on Starship, and it headed away, everything really looked good. But what we do believe right now is that the automated flight termination system on second stage appears to have triggered very late in the burn as we were headed downrange out over the Gulf of Mexico.